From the clunky metal pioneers of the past to the sleek humanoids of today, AI robots have come a long way, and each decade has brought us robots that were nothing short of shocking in their capabilities. How did we go from having robots that look like a sophisticated printer on wheels to this? Let's dive into the evolution of AI robots and explore the most shocking ones that stunned the world at their time. Let's kick it off with one of the early ancestors of advanced humanoid robots, none other than Shaky, created in 1970. Shaky was the world's first mobile intelligent robot, embodying numerous breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, robotics, computer vision, navigation, and other research areas. At a time when sturdy computers filled rooms and parts of the world were still trying to adopt digitalization, a mobile robot that could understand and interact with its environment was revolutionary. Shaky the robot was the first general-purpose mobile robot able to reason about its own actions. This was groundbreaking because while other robots needed detailed instructions for each task, Shaky could analyze commands and break them down into basic steps on its own. If you're wondering how this robot managed to interact with its environment back then, you're not alone. I was puzzled too. But here's the catch. Shaky's programming was primarily done in Lisp. The Stanford Research Institute Problem Solver, or STRIPS Planner, was its main planning component. As the first logical, goal-based agent, Shaky experienced a simplified world with rooms connected by corridors, with doors and light switches to interact with. It could travel, operate light switches, open and close doors, climb rigid objects, and push movable objects around. Here's what a typical mission for Shaky might look like. An operator types the command, push the block off the platform at a computer console. Shaky looks around, identifies the platform with the block, locates a ramp, moves the ramp to the platform, rolls up to the ramp, and pushes the block off the platform. Mission accomplished. It was tall, had an antenna for a radio link, sonar rangefinders, a television camera, onboard processors, and collision detection sensors. Its tall stature and tendency to shake earned it the name Shaky. The developer said, we worked for a month trying to find a good name for it, ranging from Greek names to whatnot. And then one of us said, hey, it shakes like hell and moves around. Let's just call it Shaky. Developed from 1966 to 1972, Shaky is now retired and displayed at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. Shaky's legacy lives on in self-driving cars and military drones. Now it's time to meet another revolutionary robot from the 1980s that had everyone singing along. Wabot 2 was the first full-scale humanoid robot capable of playing musical instruments. This robot not only embodied the spirit of the 1980s with its musical prowess, but also paved the way for future advancements in humanoid robotics. Now, I find this quite intriguing, since the 1980s was an era of unmatched musical tunes, from rock to jazz to Mozart. But what I find even more intriguing, and quite shocking for a robot at the time, was its demonstration of complex motor skills and coordination. Let me break down these amazing capabilities for you. Wabot 2 could play musical pieces with high speed precision, hitting up to 10 to 15 notes per second. While this might be a slight exaggeration, it excelled at playing pieces of average difficulty. It could also read standard sheet music with its camera and translate it into key presses, an impressive feat for the time. The robot could accept spoken song requests in Japanese, but the Wabat 2 wasn't just a one-night wonder. In 1970, four laboratories in Waseda University's School of Science and Engineering teamed up and started the Wabat project. The efforts were led by Professor Ichiro Kato, a pioneer in humanoid robotics known as the father of Japanese robotics research. In 1973, the group unveiled the Wabat 1, the world's first full-scale anthropomorphic robot. It could walk with a quasi-dynamic gait, speak, and grasp objects. Building on this, in 1980, the team began working on Wabat 2, and by 1984, they introduced this 50 degrees of freedom humanoid that could read musical scores and play an electronic keyboard. Now, let's turn our attention to another robot that has evolved over the decades and has sparked worldwide interest in robotics. Honda revolutionized the world of robotics and set a lasting legacy with the ASIMO, Advanced Step and in Innovative Mobility Robot. ASIMO was designed to navigate human environments seamlessly, recognizing faces and understanding speech. What set ASIMO apart was its ability to perform bipedal walking using a zero-moment point or ZMP control approach, ensuring stability and smooth movement. Equipped with an impressive 57 degrees of freedom, ASIMO could execute intricate movements with precise control, mimicking human-like actions. If you're like most people, you might only know Honda for its vehicles. 
but let me blow your mind. Honda began developing their humanoid robots in the early 1990s, and over the years, there have been multiple generations of Asimo robots with gradual improvements. I find this shocking, because at the time of the official debut of the Asimo robot on October 2000, human-like movements and robots had their limits tested by this robot, sparking imaginations worldwide about the potentials of humanoid robotics. Now, let's go over a little history. Honda started developing humanoid robots in 1986. Over the next 15 years, the company built about a dozen prototypes. Early robots, models E1 to E6, focused on leg locomotion. Then, Honda engineers added a head, torso, and arms to improve balance and add functionality. In 1993, Honda unveiled its first humanoid, the P1, a large machine at 1.9 meters and 175 kilograms. The P1 was followed by the P2 in 1996 and the P3 in 1997. On 31 October 2000, Honda introduced its now famous humanoid, Asimo. In 2004, Asimo was inducted into Carnegie Mellon's Robot Hall of Fame as the first robot to demonstrate true human-like mobility. A second-generation Asimo debuted in 2005. In November 2011, Honda unveiled an improved design, which it called All-New Asimo. With enhanced physical capabilities, the new Asimo was capable of running backwards, continuously jumping up and down, and even hopping on one foot. Asimo's hardware included a sophisticated array of sensors and components. Its head featured cameras and microphones, providing visual and auditory input essential for interaction and perception. The torso was equipped with a gyroscope and accelerometer, contributing to balance and orientation control. The feet were fitted with six axis force sensors, enabling stable and agile walking on various surfaces. Additionally, Asimo's hands boasted tactile sensors in the palms and force sensors on each finger, facilitating delicate object manipulation and interaction. On the software side, Asimo ran on the VXWorks real-time operating system, supplemented by custom control software tailored for its specific functionalities and tasks. Fast forward to 2010, and AI robotics have taken a huge leap. Boston Dynamics exemplifies AI robotics advancement with its creations, Atlas and Spot, robots that redefine what's possible. Atlas, the agile humanoid, isn't your average bipedal machine. It's been nicknamed a parkour master for its ability to perform backflips, hurdle obstacles, and even land on one leg. These feats highlight Atlas's agility and physical capabilities, setting it apart as a remarkable humanoid robot. But these stunts require incredible strength and balance. Atlas can lift heavy objects, climb stairs with ease, and maintain its footing even when pushed. This impressive stability and power are fueled by advanced perception systems. Atlas uses cameras and sensors to perceive its environment and plan its movements accordingly, allowing it to navigate complex situations and demonstrate a level of physical prowess once thought impossible in robots. Spot, on the other hand, takes inspiration from the animal kingdom, making its commercial debut in 2020 after years of development. This quadrupedal, agile, dog-like robot, or like I call it, RoboDog, boasts a versatile quadrupedal design ideal for various applications. If there's one feature that screams utility, it's Spot's ability to navigate rough terrains, climb stairs, and traverse challenging environments. This makes it suitable for a wide range of tasks, from inspection in hazardous areas to data collection in remote locations. The control aspect is equally impressive. Spot can be operated remotely using a tablet, allowing users to explore dangerous or inaccessible areas without putting themselves at risk. Additionally, with its payload potential, Spot can carry extra equipment like cameras or sensors, further expanding its functionality. Perhaps the most shocking aspect of Spot is its animalistic movement, Spot moves just like a real dog, with agility and balance that are incredibly lifelike and adaptable. What's impressive is its ability to switch attachments for different tasks, showing how versatile and useful it can be in different situations. Also, recently, there was a big surprise when another robot similar to Spot, made by Unitree, was used by the Chinese military with a submachine gun during training with Cambodia. This shows how these robots are becoming more capable and finding new uses in the real world. But military applications? That doesn't sound quite ethical to me. Agree with me on this? Then share your opinions in the comments section. In the world of advanced humanoid robots, Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 stands out for its groundbreaking capabilities considered insane at the time of its introduction on December 12, 2023. Imagine a robot that can walk briskly, pick up an egg without breaking it, and even bust a move. 
These seemingly simple tasks were incredibly challenging for robots in the past, highlighting the remarkable agility, dexterity, and intelligence of Optimus Gen 2. One of the craziest capabilities of Optimus Gen 2 is its agility and speed. Shedding 22 pounds, its design makes it lighter and faster, moving 30% quicker than its predecessor. This level of agility is unprecedented in humanoid robots and is a significant leap forward in robotics. Another mind-blowing feature is Optimus Gen 2's delicate touch. Its brand new hands with 11 degrees of freedom allows for precise and delicate movements, enabling it to handle objects as fragile as an egg with surprising dexterity. This level of control and sensitivity showcases the robot's ability to interact with the world in a human-like manner. Furthermore, Optimus Gen 2's integrated advanced sensors and actuators provides it with a sense of touch and balance, allowing the robot to navigate uneven terrain and interact with objects more naturally. However, what truly sets Optimus Gen 2 apart is its intelligence. Unlike robots that followed preset commands decades ago, it utilized an end-to-end -end trained neural network to learn and adapt continuously. This ability to improve its skills over time and tackle new tasks autonomously was a game-changer in the field of robotics, paving the way for robots to become versatile and helpful companions in various settings. From the shaky robot to the modern advanced robots we have today, I must admit that the rate of advancement has picked up pace significantly. I can only imagine the future of AI and robotics judging from the level of advancements we have today. How do you expect robots to have evolved in the future? Share some thoughts in the comments section. If you haven't seen our videos on when robotics and AI converged, then you definitely need to check this out.